Good morning, my name is Dr. Roth. We're going to continue with part two of the sliding filament theory, or specifically how muscles move. We're going to go over the anatomy of a sarcomere, which is the contractile unit of a muscle cell. Here on the outside, at the beginning and at the end of the sarcomere, the contractile unit, you have the squiggly line called the Z line. It looks like a Z, it's shaped like a Z, it's just the beginning and the end of the sarcomere. Here in the middle, you have the M line. It's in the middle, and therefore M. It's holding the middle portion of the myosin filaments, the protein, together. So from there, we'll go into the individual filaments. You have the thick, dark filaments, uh, which are called myosin. It's a protein. These are the ones that have the hooks that actually create the movement when they bind with uh, the actin, creating the movement with the heads, as they're commonly referred to. On the outside here, or the thin, bright one, you have actin. It's thin, it's light, it has troponin, tropomyosin, uh, which are proteins that are part of the uh, activity sites for this particular protein. And on the outside, it's called the I band. It's the thin, I for thin. In the middle, you have myosin only, and this is called the H zone. And then in the middle, where you have the myosin and the actin crossing, this is called the A band, and it gets shorter. The bridges hook the the myosin bridges hook onto the actin, and it gets shorter. Your muscle contracts, and that's how it works. That's the basic rudimentary anatomy of a sarcomere. Thank you, and we'll continue next time with a more in-depth discussion of the actin, troponin, tropomyosin.